Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and I'm in a really good mood today because I just picked up a new three-point attachment. And your first thought may be, oh, that's just a rear blade. But it's a rear blade that angles, offsets, and tilts, which makes it a very versatile attachment. So I want to really quickly tell you how I got this and why I got it, then we'll go out and put it to use. So, as far as why I wanted a rear blade, I started off choosing between a box blade and a land plane. And I decided to go with the box blade because it was less expensive and seems like a versatile, easy to use attachment. And it does a great job for moving material from one place to another and a good job of leveling. But one of the YouTube channels that I watch, not a real big channel, but just a good guy who has a lot of information to share about tractors, is called K&H Tractors. And he told me a long time ago, he said, Brock, you need a good rear blade. He said, it's really versatile and you can do more with it than you might think. And that's been like two years ago when he told me that, and I've been thinking about it ever since. And I've got several specific projects that I think this is going to help me with. But mainly, I want this not so much for spreading rock or leveling dirt. I want this for trenching and contouring. Like the ditch out along our road, both sides of my driveway, and drainage swales down towards the pond. So I've got a backhoe, and I've actually got a trencher for the skid loader. But if you want to divert water with a trench, you're probably buying pipe and rock and landscape fabric. And if I want to run hundreds of feet of trench, I'm spending thousands of dollars. Well, I want to divert water without spending all that money. So shallow drainage swales or drainage ditches are a great choice. And I think this rear blade is going to be a good way to create those. Now, as far as the specific one I got, to get that versatility, I think the more ways you can pivot the tool, the more it can do for you. So having basically six way, I would call it like a six way blade because it can, it can move in so many directions. That is what allows you that versatility to, to make your drainage ditches with it. Now I got this from Ironcraft. Now I put out a video a couple weeks ago about who is Ironcraft. It used to be called Titan Implements, which is completely different than Titan Attachments. They've brought in some more manufacturing partners. They are now called Ironcraft. I made a deal with Ironcraft to demonstrate some of their attachments. I don't own this and they aren't paying me, but I also did not buy this. I get to use it, and then at the end of a period of time, I will either trade this in for another attachment or I'll buy it at a discount. And I'm really excited for that partnership because Ironcraft makes good products at reasonable prices. And they've got a catalog about this thick they make everything for skid steers, tractors, excavators, you name it, they probably make one. And they told me pick two things out of there. And I picked a simple articulating blade and something else that I think is really cool that you'll be seeing soon. So that's enough talking. Let's get out there and see if we can move some material with this blade. Think that'll get her done? I'm hoping that'll reach from the driveway down into my, my ditch next to the driveway. It might be too wet out here to really do this job today, but I can find out if it's gonna work, which is the big question in my mind. 
All the water on this side of the driveway used to run down next to the driveway and run all the way out to the ditch by the road. But over time, it's kind of filled in and water no longer flows. So the purpose of this project is to dig that trench back out the way it used to be. The problem is it's really a little too wet to be doing this because I need to work it from both sides. And I really don't want to get out into this field to do the second half of the job. I do feel like this blade is going to be very handy once I get the hang of it. One more thing I forgot to mention earlier about Ironcraft is this brand is exclusively sold through dealerships, so probably wherever you bought your tractor offers Ironcraft attachments. Every year in the spring, I'm frustrated that this does not drain water very well. And we get water that pools up up there in low spots and we have higher spots down here. And this is something that just seems like periodically we need to regrade this so that it, it drains properly. The problem is I can't really do it right today because now I need to go to the other side, angle the other way and come back down and deepen that and even it out and it's too muddy over there. I don't want to tear all that up. So for the second time in a week, I've started a project that I can't finish until it dries out. It's kind of annoying <laughs> that I do that, but I, I couldn't get myself to just sit inside today. So I had to get out here and try this. I think it's going to be a great tool once I get the hang of it and the ground dries up a little bit. But I appreciate you guys taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.